but with a great ball and back I think it's Sam Harrison with the deflection. Top of the net. And New Zealand have two goals in a minute. 5-2 to that LB. One of the biggest tournaments on hockey's international calendar is about to be played in Auckland. And we are delighted to be joined on the cafe by two of our black sticks, striker Sam Harrison and defender Brooke Neal. Welcome, guys. Thank you for taking time out of your busy training schedule to come and see us. Uh, first up, congratulations uh, for making the team. Now, Sam, tell us a little bit about this tournament. Oh, so this is the uh, Sentinel Homes uh, Hockey World League tournament. It's um, held on the North Shore at the North Harbour Hockey Stadium. And uh, basically the, the top eight teams um, in the world will currently this year are coming to play us. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a, the biggest tournament that we've hosted before, so wow. it's really exciting. Yeah. I'm going to ask a real boy question. <laughs> Who are we looking out for? Who are those people that we like this with? Definitely, ones to watch. Definitely the Dutch. So they're actually our first pool game. They're in our pool and they're ranked number one in the world. Um, so you probably can't get much higher than that. And whenever we play them, it's a real challenge. And we played them earlier in the year at the um, the, set, the set World League semi-finals, and we drew and then lost in shootouts controversially. So that's right. Yes. I remember watching that on the news. So it's going to be yeah. exciting to it's be able war. to. Yeah, as well. There's a bit of rivalry there. Do you reckon though, Sam, that you get a home advantage? It'll definitely help with um, having the home support and hopefully we'll get heaps of people from from home to help us out and cheer us on. You will. Yeah. <laughs> You've both had some serious experience, like 127 tests for you, is it Brooke or it? Yeah, I think I'm just below you, I think, so probably around the same amount of caps each. Yeah. So what do you take into, into an event like this now with that experience under your belt? We've all played these teams sort of before, so we, we right. do know what to expect um, and, and how to prepare and uh, it's just... Now we have to just put that out on the field and, and go hard, try and, and beat, take it and out. beat the Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> now, you've you both really grown up with hockey, haven't you? Now, Sam, so your sister Charlotte played in the Black Sticks. You played together for a while, didn't you? Yeah, Years we ago. did. Yeah. So is this true? Is this a true story that you both, uh, people, the commentators were getting you confused together, so you dyed your hair brown <laughs> oh. from it? Did <laughs> no, that, that happen? That was funny. Yeah, I, I kind of just... Um, you know, I was a bit, bit younger and I was like, oh, I haven't been brilliant before, I might just give it a go. And then next thing, I, apparently I'd done it for the media, so. <laughs> but no, I didn't, I didn't do that because of that. <laughs> Those media. I'm curious to know how much preparation goes into your sport. Because we get a lot of media about rugby and netball. Perhaps people don't know as much about hockey. I'm really curious to know how much time goes into it for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's a big commitment and, you know, we're not professional sports and we don't get paid the full-time salary, so we do a lot of training outside of work and study hours. And it is tough. We, you know, we do sessions and then we obviously go away on tours. So this week is our final training week before we go into camp. Next week is um, basically putting all of our work and study on hold and just focusing on hockey. Wow. So this week, you know, we're juggling, I think many of the girls have exams. Um, so we're studying for those and often we actually, the girls sit exams on tour. So oh. yeah, we are, there is a constant um, balancing act and trying to juggle life as well. How difficult that is. And yeah. you've created your own business, haven't you? Will you go into high schools and you're mentoring or you're helping yes. high school athletes find a bit of balance? I have, yeah. When I got back from the Olympics last year, I saw the amount of stress and burnout that these high High schoolers were going through um, and I visited a lot of schools and it really worried me and so I thought I was just gonna offer my experiences and what I've found has worked well for me especially mindfulness is the big one yeah. for me and it is a buzzword going around at the moment but important though yeah so what do you tell them because it's it, it is not just physical when it comes to sport is it and, and when you're putting yourself through a, a process the mindfulness yeah I guess that's the biggest thing is everyone thinks that it, the more you train the harder you work the better you're gonna get but for us I mean it's such a mental game as well and it, it goes into everyday life and so I think yeah if we can teach these these kids that looking after your mental health is just as if not more important than your physical then you're really going to set yourself up well so yeah we uh, when it comes down to those crunch games eh Sam it's all yeah. it's all mental yeah, there's yeah. a lot of thoughts yeah. going on up oh, there yeah. um, cool. so Sam what do you want to achieve in the tournament oh we, we definitely want to try and take it out and get a spot in the final and um yeah, we've never beat the Dutch before, so it'd be really cool if we could make it a first. <laughs> so, Great. Practice the mindfulness yep. and you'll get there. Yep. And, the, and all the extra yep. other work that goes on. Hey, well, thank you both for coming in today. And best of luck. We will be watching the Hockey World League final starts on the 17th of November with our women up against the Netherlands. And if you would like to support our Vantage Black Sticks, tickets are still available from Ticketek.